my friends and welcome to the Dixie Bell page and um, yeah welcome to my first live on the Dixie Bell page. I'm so excited and uh, very grateful. Thank you for, uh, for uh, Dixie Bell for inviting me over. Uh, my name is Angela Bailey and I am the owner and creative energy of Elfen und Helden uh, over here in Frankfurt in Germany. My shop is uh, also located here in uh, nearby Frankfurt and um, tonight I would like to do a, yeah, a cute little project uh, for Valentine's Day because uh, Valentine's Day is obviously coming up in, in about 10 days and I thought that might give you some ideas. Um, when you pop on just let me know where you're watching from. Um, I'm a bit nervous at the moment so don't be too hard on me. Uh, if you have questions, just leave them in the comments, please, and just um, let me know where you're watching from. And also, when you watch replay later, do that also, and uh, I will come back to your questions um, later. So, um, for the project today, uh, we are using just some um, pine board. Uh, actually, this was like a, like a pine board I got from the yeah from a Hobby Lobby place similar over here in Germany what you have in in the US, and um, it was uh, eighty by thirty and I had it cut in half because this is about the size I'm going to use. We are also using um, obviously because this is uh, some pine board and um, people who used those before know that especially those dark spots can uh, bleed through and I'm uh, going to use uh, pretty light colors tonight and I don't want uh, any bleed through. So therefore I've um, used Boss. And boss is a, is a stain blocker and a smell blocker. The smell it's it rewind. It um, blocks stains and odors and stuff like that. So I've used that before on that board. I prepared it already. This one here. So this uh, that the project goes a little quicker. And the colors I'm using tonight is uh, cotton. I have to apologize for what that. Um, jar looks like it dropped down before so it's a little bit of a mess but the paint inside is still all right and uh, we are also using uh, the soft pink from Dixie Belle which is a nice light pink which goes nicely with um, with uh, Valentine's Day I think and we are also going to use some tape because I want to do some stripes and I want to do um, uh, it's probably the easiest when I show you later. It's a bit difficult to explain. But we're going to make a shape in the shape with the stripes. So you see that how that works. And we're also going to use uh, Moonshine uh, Metallic in uh, Gold Digger. This is going to be for a writing. And the writing I've already printed out, which is going to go on the board. I want to also show you um, how to basically put down a writing uh, without a stencil because that's also possible um, unless you can write nicely like this uh, on the board you can do that uh, of course also I can't so I have to use something like that or a stencil I'm going to show you all that how that's going to work so before I think um, we're just gonna get going and the idea is as I said it's going to be a tray and therefore I wanna well I need your help because I'm haven't decided yet if I'm going to put at the end something like this on there or something like that. So maybe, shall we do the knob or shall we do the handle? The knob is the A and the handle is the B. So maybe you can let me know in the comments what you think we shall use. A or B, knob or handle. So, and then we see at the end which one we are going to use. Okay, so again, if you're just hopping on, just let me know where you're watching from. And if you have any questions, you can also leave them in, in German in the comments. I will come back to them later then. Okay, let's get going. So, I'm seeing Ace. 
Oh, hello Odina. Thank you for popping in. Hi guys. I'm sorry, I can't see all the names, so I will I will say hello later. But thank you for popping in and uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. It's my first live on a Dixie Bell page, so it's very exciting for me also. Okay, let's get going, guys. I have also got my brushes. For each paint, uh, I've got my um, own brush. For the cotton, I'm going to use um, the brush I used for the boss yesterday because it's white already and I didn't, well, you don't need to, to base the, the boss left in there and uh, as it's white, it doesn't matter. So I can use that one. I've put that in a baby wipe and uh, in a plastic bag so it stays in there. And uh, we're also going to use some um, artist brushes later on. This is all the tools I'm going to have. I'm going to have a cutting knife. We're also needing, need, needing that. And then I would say, let's get going. So, for those who haven't used the Dixie Bell paints, they are chalk mineral paints and they are very environmental friendly. And um, before you use them, you shake them nicely up to get everything nicely, nicely mixed. And then you open it up. And I'm always got my Mr. Bottle also. I'm always uh, making it damp and I'm firstly using the paint out of the lid. As I said, I put um, two coats of uh, boss on here because especially with the cotton and the soft pink, I don't want it uh, to, to bleed through. And depending on the project, the boss comes in white and in clear. If you are planning to distress and uh, showing the wood underneath, I would always recommend the boss in um, clear. But as I'm not planning to distress this piece, I'm using, I've used the white one because that uh, gives a nice cover and I probably only need then one coat of the, the cotton on here. So I'm gonna get my glasses on. A bit of a... So, and basically when the, the board I had cut um, uh, in half as I said before and then I just um, used some sandpaper and uh, gone around the edges so that there are no sharp corners or anything. That's basically what I've done to that piece. So and then we're gonna go around the corners a little bit and still use the... can you see alright? So I'm still using the paint out of the lid. Um, Dixie Bell paints, they go a very long way. You don't need much paint, uh, which is really a benefit of those paints. They've got no smell to them whatsoever. So it's no problem uh, using them indoors or something like that. And they're so easy to work with. They dry quickly and when you have the feeling that they, while you're painting, are getting too sticky or anything like that, just use your, your Mr. Bottle or Spray Bottle to, to get it a little wet again. So, the sides. I think one, um, one coat of paint is going to be fine. So, there we go. So guys, where is it all you watching from? See if I can see some comments here on the iPad. But I am. Oh. Oh hi Terry. <laughs> oh you miss Germany already. Ooh. I bet you don't miss the weather over here. How is it going over there? Any any news about your daughter or anything? So that's me, it's like um, whatever I take into my hand, if it's a brush or a pen, give me five minutes and I'm a total mess. <laughs> so put that to the side for now, get that dried quickly. I use my heat gun for that, sorry it's a little loud at the moment. Okay. 
So have you uh, used Dixie paints yourself before? And what do you think of them? You can see it dries really, really quick. I mean, obviously for the paints to cure, it takes a little longer, but to carry on this with the project, um, that's pretty fine for me. So. Okay, that's that. So, and I do want to have the stripes basically at the end um, equal to, to to both sides. I'm going to measure the middle of the board first and make a, a little mark, which is from 40, if I can divide correctly, it's 20, I guess. And 20 is here, and 20 is there. And then we're gonna get first the layer for the stripes down and I've got this frog tape to find the middle of the frog tape I just um, fold it in half obviously with the non-sticky side on the back so I know where the middle of the frog tape is and then I put it down same down here so you get a little crease and it's pretty Pretty straight. So what I'm doing now, because there's supposed to be a shape in the stripes, I'm first taping it completely down to the sides and then you see what I'm going to do. you like stripes have you painted stripes before yourself or have you made a tray yourself before from Michigan hello Michigan how is the weather over there how is the weather over there it's um, pretty cold over here still it's got a little warmer today we had a bit of sunshine and Terry and Suzanne, they've been over here from Dixieville last week. We had um, we had the Creative World, which is uh, yeah the biggest craft creative um, trade show in the world, and it was in Frankfurt, held in Frankfurt, and Dixieville was actually having a booth there. So I was very happy. To meet everybody there and we had a great time we've done a couple of lives out there so if you haven't watched them you find them also on the Dixie Bell page so there we go and so usually if I would only do stripes I think the last one I can let's see how we go maybe no, I leave that off because the outside I think I want to have in pinky anyway. Now we go to the other side. So usually when you um, paint stripes, you wouldn't um, put it all down like that. But because of the project I have planned, I need it completely covered. Tape. I've tried it out before. It's pretty good because it um, the paint hardly bleeds underneath, and it's you get it pretty easy off the paint also from your of your project. So probably thinking, what the heck is she doing? As I said, usually stripes, you only need a 
piece or a strip of um, tape as a placeholder. But as I am doing a different project, I will need all the almost done so because I want to have the stripes going all over the tray at the end and in the stripes I want to have also the stripes a heart and because well if you want to make out the heart the heart must have the stripes basically in in opposite colors so that's the reason I'm taping all the complete board down so I see if that works like that so what I'm do doing now I am putting down a piece of paper and I'm just gonna draw a heart for now where's my pencil where's my pencil there's my pencil I'm just drawing a heart um, you can print it out on the computer or whatever. I'm just um, drawing it um, roughly. To both sides. And then I'm going to decide which side is the, the nicest. Folding it in half. And then I'm going to Cut it out. I think it's. I think this side is pretty nice. Scissors. So just cut it out. This way, you have basically both sides um, like symmetrical, almost symmetrical. Okay. And now, as I know what the middle is, I'm just going to pay, tape it down and I'm going to go around this a cutting knife, which I've put there. This is a pretty nice one, which I'm using because uh, we're also doing uh, rhinestone designs and custom shirts and stuff like that. So I sometimes need to cut foils uh, and things. So this is a nice, sharp, sharp knife. So I'm, I'm just going to go around the heart now and cut the... and cut the, the tape around off. So as everything is hand painted, you know that you don't need to have, or well, I'm not going to have it like, um, like all perfect and stuff like that. People can see that it's um, hand painted. So I'm going to go up here, don't want to have it too far down, and then I'm going to go around. Here around the heart, just to cut the, the tape around it. So there we go. Then we see now if I've cut nicely through. And now we can start to take off the, the stripes. So, let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Basically, what I'm taking off now 
is going to be painted uh, in in um, soft pink, in this nice pink from Dixie Bell. And uh, hi to Myrtle Beach. Got to concentrate a little bit, otherwise I'm. Um, this and this one we are taking off inside so that it's basically contrasting the, the stripes on the inside of the heart yes I've cut it nicely and the same here can see that paint even you just put it down it's um, it doesn't come off with the with the tape at all so it really you know this chalk mineral paints they are very very good and obviously it hasn't cured all the way through yet. Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see that all right? So maybe I can just um, turn it around so you can see basically and better the heart shape coming out now. So let me think, this, this, and then we have this in pink. I have to think a little bit, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm not talking a lot. So, I'm not getting confused. This and that. I think I'm, it goes probably a little quicker if I do it this way. This and that. And the last piece and then we can come in with our second color paint and you can already see what I'm talking about doing a shape in the shape with some stripes so that's what it looks at the moment what do you think so now we grab our soft pink I really really like it's a pretty color just push it a little more down there will be some some edge edges and bits and pieces I'm not so worried about that hand painted stuff is not um, industrial so everybody can in my opinion see that it's a hand painted piece and um, so soft pink second uh, brush the brush i'm using using actually is the dixie bell mini and dixie bell mini is my favorite it's like the mini and the mini angle i really love it because uh, it's got the short handle and um yeah it's easy for me easier to to move around again um chalk mineral paints they are pigmented highly pigmented so shake them up first nicely to get all the ingredients nicely mixed up the knife to the side and the first one is cutting herself with it so lovely light pink that is so no it's a board actually it's um it's a wooden board it was like a yeah just like a plain simple wooden board and uh, i had it cut in half it was 80 by um by 30 i had it cut in half and I've used because obviously I'm already having like the 
Mm. The, um, yeah, just like, I don't know what's it called in English actually, um, the stuff in the wood. Can somebody help me? I'm German after all and sometimes I've lost for the words. <laughs> so, again, uh, I like to work with a slight damp brush. I'm using my Mr. Bottle, which you can also get from Dixie Bell, the lovely bottle. Um, it just sprays a fine mist, so you don't have uh, drops on your project. And then I'm just going to go over the sides, the pieces I just want to have painted. Sides. So, actually I'm going to tape it down a little better to the sides also. Stripes going around, I think. Just a little. I think, I think. Do you have that when you have your projects that you um, just decide while painting what you're going to do? <laughs> I do that a lot. Because I start something and um, while I'm painting, I'm just like getting some more ideas or just totally changing my my idea about it. So, using the paint out of the lid first. And just gonna go over it. So, as I said, this is my, well, I'm doing knives now for about, I think, eight weeks. So, I'm not like the very experienced. Um, live uh, video person and I'm still uh, well pretty nervous and I'm not very good at my time management so I'm hoping that I'll get through here and show you most of the the piece and as I said if you have any questions just leave them in the comments um, I'll come back to them later and to answer them for you you can also put in the comments um, if you would like to have a live in German or something like that. I could also do that for you. Just uh, just let me know and just let uh, Dixie Bell know if you want to have um, the lives in another language. That's interesting for us to know also. Because we're still checking out. And Dixie Bell, as you know, is... Um, Gone Global is now for about three months over here in um, Germany and Europe basically. So we are all very, very happy over here that we finally um, have Dixie Bell paints here, which is great fun to work with. And if you are from Europe, you can check, I'll put the link in the description. You could either check for your um, local retailer. There's the link in there. If you haven't got a retailer, I've put my link in there. Throughout Europe, I'm also shipping out. So, and if you're in the US, uh, you'll find your local retailer on, your, on the Dixie Belt page in the link I've put on there. This almost done. First coat. Going to dry it quickly. That's it. So he can. Check and see. Can see some comments. Yes, Paula, that's right. The hard jumps really um, out like that. Um, that's the whole idea of the of the thing. It's a bit uh, more, well, more effort and more work and uh, more time consuming, but um, you basically can do that with um, quite a lot of shades. 
you use a star or something like that, um, sort of silhouettes that uh, works pretty nicely. So, that is dry to the touch already. So I'm gonna come over it with the second coat. That's it. Second coat on. And this is the nice thing about those Dixieville paints. So if there's anybody on here who hasn't used the uh, Dixieville paints uh, themselves, they dry really, really quick. And um, so you can really speed up your, your projects. And again, if you are worried about bleed through or something like that, you could either um, use a top coat, a clear top coat or anything like that for the first uh, layer. Or you could use the paint which is underneath for the first layer before you start putting um, the next color on. Because then basically this is bleeding under the tape and sealing it. Um, and when you come in then with your color, uh, the color won't, uh, can't bleed underneath the tape. But firstly, this tape is pretty good. It's frog tape. I don't actually don't know if you can, uh, if you have that in the US. I'm not sure, but um, as you have loads of great stuff anyway, and you are certainly better stocked or better equipped uh, than we over here in um, Germany, I think anyway, um, when I see all the things you've got. <laughs> But as I said, I don't mind a little bleed through that um, that gives it the hand painted um, the hand painted touch. Let's come to the sides. They don't need to be perfect either. I don't mind if the white comes through there a little. And what I've done to that board, I've basically, when it was uh, cut down, obviously there were some sharp edges and stuff like that. I just, um, I just used some sandpaper to, whoops, to, um, to get those edges off. So now I'm going to get the tape off and reel the whole piece. to be a little tricky corners. Just. You can see it's a bit more work than if you would um, just do like normal stripes but for me it's definitely worth the effort. Just this. Gonna get the inside off. What do you think so far? Do you like those colors? Oh, thank you, Dixie Bell. If there's questions, you're just answering them for me. That's sweet. Yes, um, I'll keep learning. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get better over the time. Another one there. And then I'm going to get it out of the heart. So, so I'm going to need a knife for it to get it 
Mm -hmm. Very tricky. I don't want to get into the paint. If this tape is, um, when it's wet, you can uh, lift it up pretty easy. You can see it, um, it delivers pretty sharp edges. And reveals the heart nicely. more to go so have you got anything planned for Valentine's Day for your sweetheart are you going out for dinner or are you already having a present for him or her Oops, stay there. And there's another stripe up here. So, this is the heart for now. What do you think? Can I see some hearts from you, please? Do you like it? Thank you. Thank you very much. So, I'm just going to dry it now. A little more. I don't think I'm going to have time to do the whole project but I will give you the idea anyway. So I'm just drying it off now. As I said before when you're popping on just let me know where you're watching from. Thank you guys. Thank you. Gorgeous. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you so much. So basically, this is now dry to the touch already. As I said, I've planned on putting down a writing on it with gold digger. So and therefore, if you don't have a stencil or anything, you can still do it. And I'm going to show you how. So I'm taping it down just a little where I want to have it and then I'm going to um, where is it? use just like a, like a pen something like that and I'm just tracing from up here I'm tracing the outline of the writing. And what it does, it leaves an imprint, obviously it's not writing through, but it leaves an imprint on your project. I'm just going to carry on doing it and I'm going to bring it up closer to the camera. So this is basically how you can do writing. And guys, something like that, and uh, it helps if you're both-handed, which um, luckily I am. I was forced in school to write right-handed, even if I would have liked to be more left-handed. But that really helps me nowadays, especially with something like this. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So you just going to trace it all the way around. There you go. That's the L almost done. Ta -da -da -da. inside of the O. So guys, everything I'm showing you here, it's not that I'm saying this is the only way to do it. I bet, you know, there's a lot of people out there who have much better ideas and um, 
do it in a different way or whatever. This is just how I found it worked pretty well for me. So this is basically just, you know, trying to give you some, some ideas and uh, if you want to try it and if it works for you, great, you know. If, uh, if it doesn't work for you, well, maybe if you have a better idea, just let me know, you know. I'm open to all new things also. So, have I got everything? Have I missed anything? No, I think I've got everything. So, I'm gonna bring that a little closer to you now, so that you can hopefully see the imprint. Can you see the the imprint of the of the pen in there? My lines are always not aligned, but the closer they are. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So and then I'm gonna come in with my gold digger which is a beautiful, also from Dixie Bell, from the Moonshine Metallic range, the Gold Digger. It's a lovely gold, and I think that goes nicely, oops, goes nicely with um, white and um, pinky. And again, I'm first using the paint out of the lid, which is always quite, quite a lot on the lid. And I'm using, um, an artist brush for that and I'm just gonna come in now and basically trace where I've just where I've just um, drawn or push through the paper. So and as I said, this is a hand painted um, project. I know there's people out there who have got such lovely writing and they can just like um, do it easily, easily, just like using a brush and just writing it like that. I can't. I'm terrible with writing. So rather do it that way and you can also like um, distress it a little bit uh, afterwards if you want to I'm just gonna put it there so I know exactly because sometimes I haven't put pushed through hard enough so almost done and this is supposed to be a hand painted project I don't want to have it like with total crisp lines that's it this gives it a bit of the vintagey character You can decide yourself then basically if you put a second coat on or if it will if you want to leave it just like this for now. People who know me, they know I like stenciling. I usually do, uh, I do my own stencils and I sell stencils and stuff like that. But sometimes, you know, when you do want to do a quick project and you have a printer, you can um, do it quickly, just like this. And it gives more of the hand painted um, basically character to the piece. So, let's 
So, and um, I think we won't have time to put on the handles. I have to check anyway which ones you've chosen. I'll go through the, the comments um, just uh, to remind you. There was the questions if we use a knob. I'll show you at the end again if we use a knob or if we are going to use a handle for this tray. This could be like a coffee tray or a tea tray or something like that. So I think that's quite um, quite cute. Let's see, you can't see the bee very well. There it is. It's with the lighting. Sometimes I haven't pushed in there hard enough. Let's see the time. Got a couple more minutes. I just want to get the first coat of the writing in here. And then I'll let you go, guys. Can you see what I'm doing here? Done. Almost done. It's the E from the love. There we go. So guys, almost finished. That's the writing. Obviously the stenciling, if you have a stencil, it is much quicker. But as I said, I wanted to show you how you can do that. If you only have a printer or something like that, you can do your own projects. So you're a little more, you can do whatever you want, you know, there's, uh, you don't have to wait for anything. So this is now basically Obviously, we're going to go over there a second time. Can you see that with the... Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> so, guys, again, um, just to... For remembrance, when you look at the hardware. The question was, if we're going to put the knob on there, or if we're going to put the handle on there. The knob was the A and the handle was the B. So let me know what you think, which one we should put on there. And uh, I will go over the writing a second time with the gold digger. Just let me know in the comments what you think. And um, then I would say, guys, thank you so much um, for yeah, joining me for my first live on the Dixie Bell page. Dixie Bell, thank you ever so much for having me. Um, it's great fun and I absolutely love your products. And uh, just go into the Dixie Bell page and check out for your local retailer. If you haven't got one in Europe, I also ship throughout Europe. So just uh, contact me. Um, my website at the moment has a bit of a problem, so if you go on there, um, my host uh, is uh, had let me down a little bit, so I'm uh, waiting that they are going to sort it out, so just shoot me an email or something like that, or go over to my Facebook page. If you haven't done it, um, pop over there and just um, leave a like for my page and leave a like for this video. And guys, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you next week if you want to. Bye bye! Bye guys. Thank you. Bye bye.